Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Another beautiful day here. Today I'm going to have a wee chat about empowerment and uh, how important that is. You know, we can ca we can get great relief when we start to empower ourselves, and it really sort of frees us from suffering. When we start to empower ourselves, it recovers our souls. We no longer succumb to despair. Looking at ourselves in the mirror with a sense of pride and a new sense of purpose. Acknowledging the effort and hard work put into growth and change. And then we can unburden ourselves you know, of unfair treatment, and it really sort of allows us to become free again. It's so important to create resistance to anything that would disempower us. We have to learn that skill. Being empowered is more than a state of mind. You know, it includes developing a process of learning new things, building connections within your life and your community. And we can gain a deep understanding about ourselves and seeing the value in ourselves. And that gives us a strong sense of our own abilities and control in our abilities and skills. It's important to celebrate your independence and your worth without the reliance of approval or permission from others that you have it within you to empower yourself and there's great freedom in that and take the time to reflect on yourself you know through journaling or counselling or mindfulness techniques they can all help to make us more confident within ourselves and creating these types of practices it helps us to deal with our emotional and psychological well-being incorporating healthy boundaries in our lives critical thinking skills developing critical thinking skills is very important and it's a really good skill to be able to look at things objectively and logically without getting overwhelmed by emotions that we have to deal with every day. And that creates well-formed decision-making, allowing different viewpoints and opinions into our thought stream, which challenges and opens us up to new things. That also empowers us. When we learn to empower ourselves, we can then spread that out into our relationships and it empowers other people in our lives to do the same and out into our communities where they, we can then create strong, healthy communities around us. And that in itself creates a very strong defense and network against negative energies. It creates a really good healthy support network system in your life. And you can share information with each other, you know, about how you overcame situations to help other people overcome situations in their life, which is what I'm trying to do with these videos. I have overcome all of these situations that I talk about and I make videos now to try and help other people overcome difficult situations in their lives and in that way it helps us all become better, it helps us all improve our lives and empower us in our lives, it helps us to protect ourselves in the future from any forms of types of manipulation or coercive behaviours that we might encounter that we've had to deal with in the past 
by empowering ourselves and others, we then can recognize these things a lot easier and we can stop them in their tracks in the future. It's a very, very powerful thing. Anything that we encounter down the road, we can recognize it and deal with it really efficiently. So I'm sitting here in this like a woodland glade with um, the parrots squawking overhead. So until next time, have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you again. Take care, everybody.